In the video, 4 vs. 4 Part 1, we talked about how this form of the game, 4 vs. 4, is an excellent and necessary stepping stone for kids to learn how to get to the big 11 aside game. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the key reasons that it is, one of the key purposes that it serves, and that is developing player roles and positions. Now, let's just take a moment and think about the newspaper articles or news articles you hear or read that from the EPL or MLS where a coach is talking about needing to get players. Chances are good the first position that coaches are looking for are goal scorers. They need someone who's going to put the ball in the back of the net. The second thing that a team needs and a coach is probably looking for is a playmaker. Someone to get the ball to the goal scorer. This is sometimes called the field general, the key player. After that, you've got all those piano movers, the ball winners. And in an 11 aside game, 11 aside team, probably seven to eight of the players on the field, their job description is simply win the ball and get it to this player or that player. Don't try to do anything on your own. The fourth role is going to be a goalkeeper. Now, does 4 versus 4 serve these four roles in a big picture context? And the answer is yes, certainly. We have a player who's ideally suited to learn the qualities of becoming a goal scorer. We have these players or these positions, these roles, that are ideally suited for learning how to become a playmaker, getting the ball into them. Whether it's dribbling down from a midfielder, combining short stuff, or looking for the deep pass from the back. All of these players have the opportunity to develop the skills and insight necessary to become ball winners, especially this one back here where they're going to be isolated one versus one in front of their own goal. They're going to really learn the responsibilities of stopping the opposing center forward. And a goalkeeper. This is certainly an ideal form for younger players to learn how to play in the goal because in the modern game goalkeepers must be able to play with their feet. The no pass back rule has made it essential that goalkeepers have a good basic ability to play the ball with the feet and to come out from behind come out in behind their own back line and play as a sweeper themselves. So 4 versus 4 provides all the basic learning opportunities for these roles. Now what about the positions on the field? Once again, you go back to that newspaper article of the coach looking for the perfect player to complement his team, and they're always looking for someone in the center. The center of the field is where everything's happening. And so, in 4 versus 4, in this system, we do have two central players, whether they're back here, or up there. These are players who need to be able to look one way and pass the other way. Who need to be able to use and think the entire width of the field as far as their vision and techniques go. Players on the left side. The left midfielder is developing all of the qualities necessary to play on the left side of the field. Right side. Yes, that player is also learning how to play on the right side. And coaches, let's face it, how many left-sided players that you actually have that are natural left-footed players, left-sided players? For most of us, we're taking a right-sided player and trying to educate them to be able to play on the left. Now the idea of being ahead of the ball, behind the ball. We'll just put the ball there. It's just very, very schematic. But there are players who live ahead of the ball. These are goal scorers, maybe a playmaker, and their job is going to be to receive a ball with their back to the opponent's goal, with a defender right on them, be able to win the ball and make something happen. It's a very difficult position to play, and that's why they get paid the big bucks. Do we have a position here where the players can learn to play ahead of the ball? Absolutely. Then there's behind the ball. Players who, it's kind of like a catcher in baseball. They have the game in front of them, they can read what's going on, 
They understand what's going on, and they make a valuable contribution to the one-touch pass, dribbling forward themselves. They're able to get that vision of the game and play from behind the ball, facing forward. Then you need players who can play in both roles, what we call today midfielders, and these are the workhorses. They go up, they are playing ahead of the ball, they may not be brilliant, but they don't kill you up there, and then they come back. They have to play behind the ball, and they have to be able to make a contribution defensively. Once again, left side, right side, ahead of the ball, behind the ball. Now, from this short look at four versus four and the basic roles in the 11 aside game, you should be able to see that this game, as it is, with this diamond formation, is an excellent learning tool to get the kids all the basics. They're able to learn basic skills on this player here, using the left foot, this player here, the one touch deep pass, bringing the ball out on their own if they have the opportunity. This player here playing with his back to the goal. Keeping in mind the principle of mobility over the course of many years, of course the players are going to rotate through these various positions and they're going to be able to play from there.